I play this game entirely too much. Entirely too much. But, y'all seem to enjoy it. And y'all seem to enjoy the commentary that comes with it as well. So welcome back. It's your boy, Stealth Jet, back at it once again. And we're going to go on to Fiel Content. But which version? Daytime. The best version, in my humble opinion. There's been, um, how can I put it? A lot of questions being asked to me about this game. But there's one question in particular that has not really came up. So I'm going to answer my own question with this video. And that question is, how do I know when I'm spotted? Yeah. Now, if you're going to say a one-sentence answer, that's cool and all, right? But I got a one-video answer. Because, well, first of all, watch this. The short answer, you don't know you're spotted until it's too late. Like this guy. With an M249. So I'm glad I got rid of him. You don't know when you're spotted until it's too late. That's the short answer. But this video is a long answer. And by the way, I thought I heard somebody up there in a helicopter. So that's why I'm um, looking at it and running away. And that's a play you can do, actually. When you think you hear somebody, run away from their position with your weapon on your back so it looks like you're running away from them, which you are. But just to confirm that they're up there, let them peep over the ridge line, and that's when you know for sure somebody's up there. Right? And then you have the confirmed knowledge of they're up there, I can get them. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole mortar strike. Okay. I think no one's near the helicopter. But that mortar strike is going kind of ham, isn't it? Okay. It's a whole gunfight going on back there. And I think this guy right here that I'm looking at is the source of all the commotion. Him. Yeah. He seems to be uh on that ridge line holding down the fort. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not the kind of person to go after people because they cause hella commotion. Notice how I said hella commotion. If you're firing shots for no reason at all, I'm coming after you. But if you're doing shit for, you know, like that, like that right there, yeah, I, I tend to not go after you because what you're showing me is you are using up all your resources and you're becoming less dangerous. So as time goes on, and you keep firing out your full auto bugle rounds, and you keep, you know, calling in your mortar strikes, you have less tools to go against me. So sure, do whatever you gotta do. But once you're drained, I'm coming after you with, what, my four clips worth of ammunition and my, and my one mortar strike? Yeah. Now, y'all know me. I like to uh, keep tabs on my opponents. That's why I'm rotating around to see if homeboy is still up here or to see if he was the guy that activated the time safe. Right? He was last seen up here in this ridge line and then we heard a button. But it looks like homeboy is still up here.
Airdrop incoming. Get ready. Yeah, he put down a jammer. I don't know why he did, considering the fact of how I knew exactly where he was. I mean, the best thing he could have done, the best thing he could have done, was went prone in the bush and waited for me to come over here there and try to find him. And then, no pun intended, ambush me. That would have been a better play. But, I kept seeing him move. So y'all seen how I kept landing shots on him? Like what, like two or three shots on him? What did they all hit? Body armor. That tells me that I'm not going to get this guy at long range. I'm not. Because damage drop off over distance is a real and very powerful thing. So I had to close said distance. 
And I want to say he had the advantage on me at far range because SVD. But remember what I said in the beginning of the video when I said I'm going to let you cause all your commotion because you're draining all your resources? When I killed that guy, how many rounds of bugle ammunition did he have? 80, I want to say. About two magazines worth. How much y'all want to bet he had about six at the start of this match? What I'm trying to say is he had six bugle clips in his bag. And then when I killed him, he had two. Look. Draining somebody's ammunition is a very real and very powerful tactic. And all you got to do is sit back and watch him. All you got to do. And in case you didn't realize how I answered my question. I knew when I was spotted when I walked up that hill and I was watching him and all of a sudden he went prone and started aiming. But here's the flip side of that. I spotted him when I was all the way on the other side of the map. So the long answer to how do I know when I'm spotted in vigor is this. You will never know when you're spotted. You just got to be ready for when you are. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this one. Because that's it. I'll see you next time. Peace.